What's up? How are you guys this week? It is Tuesday at Frankie's Free Range Meat, and as usual, we have some new and exciting stuff for you guys, or at least it's exciting to me. Uh, so sheet milk, just got that two weeks ago. We're selling it in pints straight from the farm. You guys are still emailing me, trying to incriminate me. Uh, uh, we got the hot dogs and plain sausages available now. I'm excited to show you guys that. Uh, we will have chicken back in about two weeks. I know it's you know been like three months we've been sold out. And uh, we will be having corn and soy free, pasture raised Thanksgiving turkeys for Thanksgiving this year. You won't have to pre-order none of that stuff. I'm just telling you guys now so you know. You know, we're gonna do plenty of turkeys. You guys will just be able to buy them. And if we do have extra, I'll just grind them up into ground turkey or sell them as parts, whatever. You know, we don't only have to eat turkey on Thanksgiving. So uh, no pre-orders necessary. We'll talk about that a little later, but let's uh, do something a little fun first. I was gonna read some reviews for the eggs and all the awesome feedback you guys have given me, but I really wanna like throw a box against the wall and show you guys how well we have them packaged. It, I, I just find it hard to believe. Look, let me show you guys, let me show you guys this. So these are all the eggs we're shipping out today for you guys. As you can see, we have the three fragile stickers on top and this is like double wall thick corrugated boxes. So uh, I mean, you'd really have to be trying to, to cause any damage to these. All right, guys, we have our box of three dozen eggs. And uh, for any of you thinking that this is wasteful, you know what's wasteful? The thousands of dollars in eggs in boxes that FedEx has and the USPS has crushed on me, but we'll save that for another rant. So we're gonna throw this box down the stairs, then I'm gonna chuck it against the wall, and then we're gonna open it up in the same clip so like you guys don't think I cut the video or something to, um, to uh, do something. <laughs> So I'm, I'm, I'm role playing as FedEx right now. Like, what would I do to a box, you know? I think that's, I think that's pretty rough. That's pretty brutal, right? That's pretty brutal. <laughs> hey, I, they might they might have broken. I don't really know. I don't know. I mean, I don't see any egg yolk. I don't see any. Let's, uh, let's inspect them. Yeah. Yep. These aren't cracked at all. I'm kind of wishing I, uh, I jumped up and down on the box too. But, but you guys get the point. You guys get the point. Like, they, they got to be doing some like crazy, crazy stuff. Yeah, none, none of these eggs are broken. They got to be doing some crazy, crazy stuff with these boxes to break them. Uh, the only way I would imagine, you'd have to put like, five, six, seven hundred pounds of force on the box. So, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. That's like, like, like you literally throw the box against the wall, throw it down the stairs, the eggs don't break. So, you know, so if you guys are wondering why I ask you for pictures of the eggs if they're broken, this is why. I find it a little difficult to believe the eggs are breaking in shipment. I find it a little difficult to believe, unless the airplane that they're flying them over with actually runs over the box on the runway, so go figure. All right, guys, that's enough fun. Let's get back to reality. We're gonna hop in the freezer to show you guys the, the new hot dogs and sausages first. Now, of course, I tried both of these myself. These are the plain sausage, which have salt and a light amount of smoke flavor. I like them and what I even do is I'll squeeze the meat out of the casing to have like a lightly smoked ground beef. They're pretty, pretty good. And then the hot dogs over here, uh, slightly stronger, smokier flavor, and then we have the hot dog seasoning in them. So uh, definitely a noticeable difference in just taste, texture, and overall. These really do taste like your, you know, your classic, classic hot dogs. Now we've had these before in the beef charcuterie share, but you had to buy like the whole thing. Since we did individual animals, like one whole cow is the hot dog, one whole cow ground up into plain sausage, we're able to sell the hot dog share. So you guys can go on the website under the beef charcuterie shares, you can select hot dog, 
or plain sausage and just buy one or whatever you want. So I'm happy we've been able to do that. We did run out of two very popular products, ribeye and pork bacon. The ribeye should be back this week and the pork bacon next week. You guys have been buying the collagen broth consistently. We have a lot of organ grind, but we did run out of like the 70-30 Wagyu as well as the tenderloin blend. Uh, now we just have a lot of this, you know, lower priced 80-20 ground beef at around, I think this is $7.50 or $8, and then plus the 10% discount, best price online by far. We still have a lot of the marrow butter. I know a lot of you guys were a little sad we ran out of this for a few months, but now we have plenty. All this marrow butter here for you guys. Lamb liver is back in stock as well. These are about one pound portions. Man, I think that's actually everything in the freezer. So in the fridge, it's empty. We're basically sold out of eggs. We do have some water kefir left, small amount of water kefir grains. Uh, most of the cheeses are in stock. In the dairy fridge over here, uh, we still have our sheet milk. This is the new product sold in Pine Skies. It's very expensive, but sheet milk in general is expensive. That's some buttermilk. We have some butter down here still. Some of the farm cheese, some cottage cheese here. Now the fresh dairy comes in every week, guys. So keep an eye out for an email today about what's back in stock. So if you guys want it as fresh as possible, we're gonna ship it out tomorrow, Wednesday, as well as Thursday for you guys. Not much going on with the foods. Uh, we did restock two things, the white chocolate chip cookie bars and the salt and pepper jerky. So we're trying to keep up, we're trying to keep up, but um, falling a little behind. We don't have anything new on the other businesses this week. I mean, we haven't for a little while now. Organ supplements, Wi-Fi shielding, Frankie's Naturals, but uh, over the next few months we might. And uh, I'm gonna force myself to launch our new product next week. So uh, that is gonna be something kind of separate and new and exciting. Yeah, so dairy, eggs, we stocked today, tomorrow, and then we're also gonna do the fresh beef share in about another two weeks. So if you guys want the fresh beef, make sure to, to place a pre-order on the website because if we don't get a lot of orders, we keep delaying it. Way too loud in there. See guys, I'm always in my Wi-Fi shielding attire. <laughs> uh, but before I wrap things up today, I'll touch a little bit on the turkeys. Uh, so there's a local Amish farmer that was raising turkeys for someone else and he did some stuff for me. So he asked if uh, we needed turkeys. So we're probably gonna do a few hundred with him. Uh, they're going to be corn and soy free feed and he's going to have them on pasture as much as possible so this is basically going to be as high of a quality of a turkey as possible and i was looking online at the pasture raised turkey prices criminally insane i think the cheapest turkey i saw was like 260 dollars for like a 15 pound bird we might be around half of that i'm gonna i'm gonna have to confirm um the pricing with the farmer but we are definitely 100 percent going to have the most affordable, high quality Thanksgiving turkeys online. I know that's a huge deterrent for a lot of people. You know, they don't want to spend three or $400 on a Thanksgiving turkey. That's crazy. I don't remember what um, turkeys, like a normal turkey cost in the supermarket because I haven't bought one in years. I don't think it's more than like 60, 70, 80 bucks. So to go from that to like three or 400 to me is insane. We're going to be somewhere in the middle. I think we're going to be around 125. I'm not going to hold myself to that because I'm not 100% sure. But we're, we're definitely not going over 200, which is going to be way more affordable than all the other turkeys online. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me for the vlog as usual. Uh, I'm not sure if there's anything new next week outside of a few restocks, but um, you guys can go to frank to see me and all of my interesting businesses. If you guys want me to break and throw stuff around next week, let me know. Give me some ideas. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, you'll see all the businesses on there. Frankie's Free Range Meat, Frankie's Free Range Foods, Organ Supplements, Wi-Fi Shielding, Frankie's Naturals, where you can support me uh, in my, I guess, goal of providing you guys with high quality health products and making them affordable. That's why I'm consistently broke because I don't charge enough for everything. Uh, but we'll see you guys soon. Probably do a day of eating this week. I'm not sure if I feel up to a whiteboard video, but we'll see.